Good morning guys, it's 6 o'clock in the morning, I couldn't sleep so I've decided to come down and do a bit of work on the uh, DRZ, so you join me in part 3 of the DRZ Under the Knife series. I'm just going to finish off my cup of tea, wake myself up a little bit, and then um, we're going to open some packages and see what we're going to be fitting today. Right, so let's have a look at what we're going to be fitting today. Let's open these two packages up. I have opened this one up already. And there we have some new Zeta or Zeta or however you want to say it armor handguards. Stop me scratching up them nice pro tapers that I fitted the other day. Aluminium. Curved handguards. They're really nice. Them. I've got them on my other bike, and they are brilliant. So I've got them again. I've also got the plastic guards, which you have to buy separate. Which bolt on the front of the metal plate on there. So that's that one. And in this package, I'm just going to put the camera down for a second. I open this up. Very nice. So here we have some crash protection. So we've got the uh, axle sliders, front and rear. And in these two packages here we have some handlebar sliders. They're going to be fitted on the end of the handlebars obviously. And the handguards. So some handlebar sliders, some peg sliders. Okay, so now that's done, we've cut the end of the grips off to allow for the inserts to go in on both sides. And this is the handguard that's going on. As you can see, I've put the uh, bar protector on there, the bar slider. So what I've done is I've put the bar slider on then the handguard itself, then the insert, and then the crushing bush that comes up. As that comes up, it expands that, and it grips the inside of the bar. Now you do get two sets of those inserts with these handguards. You get a bigger set. You can see the difference between them two. Now you would have thought you'd use the bigger one for the fatter bars, but you don't. You use the smaller one. I made that mistake last time, so. If you do get these Zeta handguards, use the smaller insert for that. And if you put in um, bar sliders on as well, you will need to get a longer bolt because the stock bolt doesn't isn't long enough to go all the way through there. So as you can see, I've got that in, push that in there, got that in place, and now it's time to fit the clamping plate to the actual bar which goes on there so again like I said everything's still nice and loose so let's get that part on and then we'll line everything up and then we'll get the other side in the same into the same state right guys so that's the actual handguard fitted on very simple job to do providing you do it in the right order one thing I didn't mention before is, I don't know if you can see it, but between the end of the handguard and the grip there, you've got like a, a transparent washer, a clear washer, which just allows the throttle to, I mean that is sticking slightly, so I will move that out, but it allows for that rubber to stop rubbing onto the end of the handguard there. So all I've got to do is just move that out and that'll move nice and freely again. Or I could just move the throttle body in slightly. So that's it on that side. 
So there's the handle, the hand guards fitted both sides, nice and loose at the moment. So I'm going to come to tighten these up now, and the order you want to tighten these up in is we want to do this bolt first. So that's one, two, three, and four is the final one. When you're tightening these up, guys, you don't need to hang on the handle at Allen key. The amount of people I see just hanging on bolts to try and do it up tight, just end up stripping the threads. It's only aluminium threads in there. You just end up stripping them and you've wasted your money. So just nip it up, you don't need to do it mega tight. There we are guys, the set of armor hand guards are fitted. All nice and tight. They're absolutely solid these things. You can get some with that are plastic with universal fittings and they just move around everywhere. I've had them before, you sort of pay 15, 20 quid for a set of hand guards, they're useless. These actually do the job they're there to do. They're not cheap, they're about 50 odd quid, but you know, if it saves your levers and saves you messing up your controls and handlebars and stuff, it's definitely worth it, I think. So sitting on the bike, there we go, all levelled up nice. Okay, so my next job is to get um, the, the plastic bash guards. Plastic bash guards, I'm going to put them on now. I actually really like the look of it like that, without them on. But that's how that one looks. It's the same hand guards on there with the same bash guards. So I am going to put them on. I will put them on. I might take them off at a later date, but I'm going to put them on for now. Okay, guys, so there we go. We're all done. Hand guards are all fitted, tightened up with the bash plates in there. I think they look pucker. I'm not going to keep these stickers on. They'll be coming off at some point. I'll be putting my own decals on there. But I'll leave them on there for now. Let's give you a quick look up. See what they look like. Let's see from the top. Looks pucker. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to have a go at fitting the peg sliders next. Okay guys, so here we have the peg slider kit. And what you get with this is obviously two peg sliders two 10 mil nuts, two washers and two J-bolts. All you need to fit it is a 10 mil socket. There we go, one peg slider fitted. Easy as that. The bolt's hanging out a bit at the bottom there, but what I'll do later on when I cut the threaded bar down for the axle sliders, I'll just get the grinder on that and I'll just cut that off. Right guys, so moving on to the axle sliders. Um, I managed to cut the threaded bar down using a junior axle. It took a while, but we got there in the end. Rather than waking up the neighbours, I wouldn't have been neighbour of the month if I'd have been out there with a the grinder at this time. So anyway, um, again, all you need for this is threaded bar, two 13mm nuts, two washers, Threaded bar goes straight through the axle, bung each end, and what you need for this is two 13mm sockets. Job done, easy as that. There we go. Looking good, getting the old crash protection on there. So let's cut that rear threaded bar down and get the back one on. So there we go guys, rear axle sliders are fitted. And that is it. So I'll just give you a rundown of what's been done this morning. So first off we started by fitting the Zeta Armour Aluminium Handguards. Then we fitted the peg sliders. Front axle sliders. And then the rear axle sliders. So that's it for episode 2 guys of DRZ Under The Knife. It was all about crash protection today. So, join me in part three, when we'll be fitting, God knows what, whatever I decide to get out of the packet next. Alright guys, thanks for watching, take care.